Hey YouTube, Esther 781 Today, real quick one for you. We're tackling one of the uh, biggest arguments I've been seeing lately. To balance or not to balance? That is the question. And uh, how, how well do you need to balance is the second part of that question. So here I'm doing a set of new blades on my mower, 46 inch. Um, generic star pattern. <clears throat> I'm going to start with balancing. A lot of guys have said you stick a nail in the wall or stick a round bladed screwdriver in the vise and then simply put your blades on, you know, have a look, let, you know, steady them out. And they'll say, huh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a little off, but look at, they're, they're basically level. Well, <clears throat> That's where this tool comes into play. A lot of you guys know what this is, a lot of you don't. This is a lawnmower blade. It's not a balancer, because it doesn't balance it for you, but it checks the balance. So let me get you set up in a stand so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, now these are those same blades put on the balancer. It's got a nice, powerful magnet on it. So let's see. And it tells you right there, this side is definitely heavier. Now, these are worn out blades. These are, you know, you can see they're missing a lot of metal. This is all just for demonstration purposes. Here's the second blade. Put that on, slide the magnet forward. And again, sort of the faster it swings down, the heavier you can see, you know, the, the more out of balance it is. I mean, I can't even <laughs> cheat this. So what you would do in this instance is you would sharpen this blade until it sort of just kind of hovers right there without moving. All right, part two of this myth. So now people have asked, hey, I just got a set of brand new uh, blades. Do I have to balance them? Everyone's like, what are you, stupid? They're brand new. You know, you don't, you don't have to touch them. You don't have to do anything. Now you, can, you might be able to see, I haven't stopped them from wiggling, but they're about on the level. Wait till you see this. All right, blade number one. Line it up on the magnet. This one's just damn near perfect. I mean... Something that's teetering that little, don't touch it. You, you're just gonna, you're not gonna get, you're gonna make more work for yourself. Blade number two, that's where it gets interesting. Brand new, right out of the box. Heavier on one side than the other. How's that? Now, I get people in the comments saying, oh, so what? It's just a little bit. And, you know, they, they may be right. You know, it is. It's not dramatic. The red ones, the old ones were dramatic. Um, these ones, these particular ones are not that bad. But I have seen brand new blades as dramatic as these red ones. People will slap those on, call it a day. They're nice, they're new, they're fresh. You might not even notice the vibrations, but you're going to start to wear out the spindle bearings. It's just, it's good practice. What can I say? It's not that it's a huge deal. It's, it's a lawnmower. It's not, you know, it's good practice. Why not? Spend an extra. If you're already sharpening the blades and you got it off the machine, Balance them out, you know, and just know that we saw right here, this is not going to tell you uh, whether it's perfectly balanced or not. I don't have one of the little cone types. Um, those do work slightly better than, uh, obviously, well, they work, they work a lot better than uh, the screwdriver and the vice trick, but that's all, that's all I wanted to say. If you, if you're thinking about it, Balance your blades, 
and uh, do her right. See you next time, guys.